using Java e interceptors. This chapter discusses how to create interceptor classes and methods that interpose on method invocations or life cycle events on a target class. The following topics are addressed here. Overview of interceptors using interceptors. The interceptor example application. Overview of interceptors. Interceptors are used in conjunction with Java EE managed classes to allow developers to invoke interceptor methods in conjunction with method invocations or life cycle events on an associated target class. Common uses of interceptors are logging, auditing, or profiling. Interceptors can be defined within a target class as an interceptor method, or in an associated class called the interceptor class. Interceptor classes contain methods that are invoked in conjunction with the methods or life cycle events of the target class. Interceptor classes and methods are defined using metadata annotations, or in the deployment descriptor of the application containing the interceptors and target classes. Note, applications that use the deployment descriptor to define interceptors are not portable across Java EE servers. Interceptor methods within the target class or in an interceptor class are annotated with one of the metadata annotations defined in Table 48-1. Table 48-1 Interceptor Metadata Annotations Interceptor Metadata Annotation Description JavaX. Interceptor, around invoke designates the method as an interceptor method, JavaX. Interceptor, around timeout designates the method as a timeout interceptor, for interposing on timeout methods for enterprise beam timers, JavaX. Annotation, post construct designates the method as an interceptor method for post construct life cycle events, JavaX. Annotation, pre destroy designates the method as an interceptor method for pre destroy life cycle events. Interceptor classes, Interceptor classes may be designated with the optional JavaX. Interceptor. Interceptor annotation, but interceptor classes aren't required to be so annotated. Interceptor classes must have a public, no argument constructor. The target class can have any number of interceptor classes associated with it. The order in which the interceptor classes are invoked is determined by the order in which the interceptor classes are defined in the JavaX. Interceptor. Interceptor's annotation. This order can be overridden in the deployment descriptor. Interceptor classes may be targets of dependency injection. Dependency injection occurs when the interceptor class instance is created, using the naming context of the associated target class, and before any post-construct callbacks are invoked. Interceptor life cycle. Interceptor classes have the same life cycle as their associated target class. When a target class instance is created, an interceptor class instance is also created for each declared interceptor class in the target class. That is, if the target class declares multiple interceptor classes, an instance of each class is created when the target class instance is created. The target class instance and all interceptor class instances are fully instantiated before any post-construct callbacks are invoked, and any pre-destroy callbacks are invoked before the target class and interceptor class instances are destroyed. Interceptors and contexts and dependency injection for the Java E. Contexts and dependency injection for the Java EE platform 401 builds on the basic functionality of Java EE interceptors. For information on 401 interceptors, including a discussion of interceptor binding types, see using interceptors. Using interceptors. Interceptors are defined using one of the interceptor metadata annotations listed in table 48-1 within the target class, or in a separate interceptor class. The following code declares an around timeout interceptor method within a target class, stateless public class timer beam. Schedule minute equal 1. Our equal public void automatic timer method. Around timeout public void timeout interceptor method invocation context CTX. If interceptor classes are used, use the JavaX. Interceptor. Interceptors annotation to declare one or more interceptors at the class or method level of the target class. The following code declares interceptors at the class level. Stateless. Interceptors primary interceptor. 
Class, Secondary Interceptor. Class, Public Class Order Bean. The following code declares a Method Level Interceptor Class. Stateless Public Class Order Bean. Interceptors Order Interceptor. Class Public Void Place Order Order Order. Intercepting Method Invocations. The Around Invoke Annotation is used to designate Interceptor Methods from Managed Object Methods. Only one Around Invoke Interceptor Method per class is allowed. Around Invoke Interceptor Methods have the following form. Around Invoke Visibility Object Method Name Invocation Context Throws Exception For, ex for example Around Invoke Public Void Intercept Order Invocation Context CTX Around Invoke Interceptor Methods can have public, private, protected, or package level access, and must not be declared static or final. Around Invoke Interceptors can call any component or resource callable by the target method on which it interposes, have the same security and transaction context as a target method, and run in the same Java virtual machine call stack as the target method. Around invoke interceptors can throw any exception allowed by the throws clause of the target method. They may catch and suppress exceptions, and then recover by calling the invocation context. Proceed method. Using multiple method interceptors. Use the interceptors annotation to declare multiple interceptors for a target method or class. Interceptors primary interceptor. Class secondary interceptor. Class, last interceptor. Class public void update info string info. The order of the interceptors in the interceptors annotation is the order in which the interceptors are invoked. Multiple interceptors may also be defined in the deployment descriptor. The order of the interceptors in the deployment descriptor is the order in which the interceptors will be invoked. Interceptor binding. Target name. My app. Order bean. Target name. Interceptor class, my app. Primary interceptor, class. Interceptor class, interceptor class, my app. Secondary interceptor, class. Interceptor class, interceptor class, my app. Last interceptor, class. Interceptor class. Method name, update info. Method name, interceptor binding. To explicitly pass control to the next interceptor in the chain, call the invocation context. Proceed method, sharing data across interceptors. The same invocation context instance is passed as an input parameter to each interceptor method in the interceptor chain for a particular target method. The invocation context instance's context data property is used to pass data across interceptor methods. The context data property is a Java. Util, map, string, object, object, data stored in context data is accessible to interceptor methods further down the interceptor chain. The data stored in context data is not shareable across separate target class method invocations. That is, a different invocation context object is created for each invocation of the method in the target class. Accessing target method parameters from an interceptor class the invocation context instance passed to each around invoke method may be used to access and modify the parameters of the target method. The parameters property of invocation context is an array of object instances that corresponds to the parameter order of the target method. For example, for the following target method. Interceptors primary interceptor. Class public void update info string first name, string last name, date date. The parameters property in the invocation context instance passed to the around invoke interceptor method in primary interceptor is an object array containing a string object first name, a string object last name, and a date object date. The parameters can be accessed and modified using the invocation context. Get parameters and invocation context. Set parameters methods, respectively. Intercepting lifecycle callback events. Interceptors for lifecycle callback events post create and pre-destroy may be defined in the target class or in interceptor classes. The 
Post-create annotation is used to designate a method as a post-create lifecycle event interceptor. The pre-destroy annotation is used to designate a method as a pre-destroy lifecycle event interceptor. Lifecycle event interceptors defined within the target class have the following form. Void. Method name. For example, post create void initialize. Lifecycle event interceptors defined in an interceptor class have the following form. Void. Method name. Invocation context. For example, pre-destroy void cleanup invocation context CTX. Lifecycle interceptor methods can have public, private, protected, or package level access, and must not be declared static or final. Lifecycle interceptor methods are called in an unspecified security and transaction context. That is, portable Java EA applications should not assume the lifecycle event interceptor method has access to a security or transaction context. Only one interceptor method for each lifecycle event post create and pre destroy is allowed per class, using multiple lifecycle callback interceptors. Multiple lifecycle interceptors may be defined for a target class by specifying the interceptor classes in the interceptors annotation, interceptors primary interceptor, class secondary interceptor, class last interceptor, class stateless public class order bean. The order in which the interceptor classes are listed in the interceptors annotation defines the order in which the interceptors are invoked. Data stored in the context data property of invocation context is not shareable across different life cycle events, intercepting timeout events. Interceptors for EJB timer service timeout methods may be defined using the around timeout annotation on methods in the target class or in an interceptor class only one. Around timeout method per class is allowed. Timeout interceptors have the following form, object, method name. Invocation context throws exception. For example, around timeout protected void timeout interceptor method invocation context CTX. Timeout interceptor methods can have public, private, protected, or package level access, and must not be declared static or final. Timeout interceptors can call any component or resource callable by the target timeout method and are invoked in the same transaction and security context as a target method. Timeout interceptors may access the timer object associated with the target timeout method through the invocation context instances get timer method. Using multiple timeout interceptors, Multiple timeout interceptors may be defined for a given target class by specifying the interceptor classes containing around timeout interceptor methods in an interceptors annotation at the class level. If a target class specifies timeout interceptors in an interceptor class and also has a around timeout interceptor method within the target class itself the timeout interceptors in the interceptor classes are called first then the timeout interceptors defined in the target class for example in the following example assume that the primary interceptor and secondary interceptor class have timeout interceptor methods interceptors primary interceptor class secondary interceptor class stateful public class order bean Around timeout private void last invocation context CTX. The timeout interceptor in primary interceptor will be called first, then the timeout interceptor in secondary interceptor, and finally the last method defined in the target class. The interceptor example application. The interceptor example demonstrates how to use an interceptor class containing an around invoke interceptor method with a stable session bean. The Hello Bean Stable Session Bean is a simple enterprise bean with the two business methods, getName and setName to retrieve and modify a string. The setName business method has an interceptors annotation that specifies an interceptor class, Hello Interceptor, for that method. Interceptors Hello Interceptor. Class public void setName string name this. Name equal name. The Hello Interceptor class defines an around invoke interceptor method modify greeting that converts the string pass to hello bean set name to lowercase 
around invoke public object modify greeting invocation context ctx throws exception object parameters equal ctx get parameters string param equal string parameter zero param equal param to lowercase parameter zero equal param ctx set parameters parameters try and return ctx proceed catch exception e logger Warning error calling CTX. Proceed and modify greeting. Return null. The parameters to hello bean. Set name are retrieved and stored in an object array by calling the invocation context. Get parameters method. Because set name only has one parameter, it is the first and only element in the array. The string is set to lowercase and stored in the parameters array, then passed to invocation context. Set parameters. To return control to the session bean, invocation context. Proceed is called. The user interface of Interceptor is a Java server faces web application that consists of two face LUTs views, index. XHTML, which has a form for entering the name, and response. XHTML, which displays the final name. Running the Interceptor example application in that bean's eyed. From the file menu, choose Open Project. In the Open Project dialog, navigate to TUT install. Examples. EJB. Select the Interceptor folder and click Open Project. In the Projects tab, right-click the Interceptor project and select Run. This will compile, deploy, and run the Interceptor example, opening a web browser page to HTTP. Localhost. 8080. Interceptor. Type a name into the form and select submit. The name will be converted to lowercase by the method interceptor defined in the hello interceptor class. Running the interceptor example applications using it. Go to the following directory. Tut install. Examples. EJB. Interceptor. To compile the source files and package the application, use the following command. And this command calls the default target, which builds and packages the application into a WAR file, interceptor, war, located in the disk directory. To deploy and run the application using ant, use the following command. Ant run this command deploys and runs the interceptor example, opening a web browser page to HTTP. Localhost. 8080. Interceptor. Type a name into the form and select submit. The name will be converted to lowercase by the method interceptor defined in the hello interceptor class.